Here we have a question about functions f and g. f of x is 5x, g of x is 2 cos x. In part a, we're asked to evaluate f of g of 0. So first of all, we can calculate what g of 0 is. Now if we look at the function g, and say what happens when we put a value into g. Well, out comes 2 times the cosine of that value. So for instance, if we, we put 0 in, out would come 2 times cos 0. Just as if we put pi in, out would come 2 times the cosine of pi. Whatever goes into this function, twice the cosine of that value comes out. So 0 goes in to g, 2 times cosine of 0 comes out. Now what is the cosine of 0? Remember paper 1 has no calculator. The cosine graph starts off at 1, goes down to 0, to negative 1, back up to 0, back up to 1. So it starts out at value 1. Cosine of 0 is 1. Two ones are 2. So g of 0 is 2. Therefore, f of g of 0 will be f of 2, because that's what g of 0 is. So the next question is, what is f of 2? So we look at the function f and say, when a number goes into f, what happens? What comes out? 5 times that number comes out. So if 2 goes in, 5 times 2 will come out. So the answer to part A is 10. Let's now have a look at part B. We have to find an expression for g of f of x. So again, just like we did in part A, we'll work from the inside out. So what is f of x? We're told it's 5x. So now if we're looking at g and we're saying what's, what goes into g, the answer's 5x. Now remember, we said when 0 went in, it was 2 times cos 0. When pi goes in, it's 2 times cos pi. When anything goes in, it's twice cosine times that anything. In this particular case, 5x is going in. So twice cos of 5x will come out. So that's 2 times cosine 5x. And that's the answer to part B. That's an expression for g of f of x.